Hey love bugs, it's Rosalyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, much love to you. And for my returning subs, my extended family, thank you so much for blessing me with the abundance of your positive vibes, your prayers, and your, you know, your positive feedback it is greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart. I'm so grateful. You. And I'm grateful for the new viewers also as well. And for that being said, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have been stopping my, my channel and watching videos for a while and you have not already, like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I would love to get positive feedback. Or I would just love the fact that you opening up and let me know more about you like you're knowing about me, about your spiritual gift, you know, things that you might be going through, you might want to express yourself on, which is greatly appreciated. And, you know, you are very welcome to be, you know, have an open floor to go ahead and let me know about yourself. So it would be greatly appreciated. So, and on that note, and if you feel like you resonate with what you heard or you enjoy what you heard, you know, spread the word, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. It'll be greatly appreciated. So, thank you for stopping by. And the music, the peaceful music, I mean, between looking at, listening to my last one on the dolphins and the whales, meditation music, that really, I mean, after everything I've been through for the last few days, I really needed that meditation. And this one I'm listening to is heal yourself i said i'm gonna go ahead and talk loud because you know i have a feeling that um there's some people while i'm doing this video some people really need to hear that so i'm gonna go ahead and um let that play out uh it's called heal yourself powerful healing vibration music meditation music inner peace relaxed mind body I will post that link in the description box below. And my video today is about the Twin Flame 101. When universe does not play fair. <laughs> universe does not play fair, y'all. Well, I'm going to go ahead and turn that down just a little bit because I really feel like I'm yelling. Um, universe doesn't play fair. You know, it's just like between the summer solstice, the eclipse is coming up for the next couple of months. Like between now, July, and August. And you're going through all these different vibrations. It's like it's like a light switch popped on. It. Like poof. And it's just like with me, you know, like I've said before, I love the fact when, you know, my subscribers can come and tell me, you know, I'm having, you know, I'm I'm you know, I passed this on this job, I got this new job, or, you know, I found me a love, or, you know, I, I reunited with my twin flame. I love hearing about positivity, but I also love the fact when, you know, my subscribers go ahead and, you know, they tell me their issues or anything like that, and, it, you know, if I know I can help, I'm more, you know, or if not, I can try to find something that can help you resolve your, your issues on whatever you go through. Because I know, like I said before, I know what it feels like. I had to do a lot of research. I had to do a lot of meditating, a lot of paying attention to things that I wasn't used to paying attention to. But it's like going through all these vibrations. It was like, it was hectic. It still gets like that at times, you know, going through things like that and you're, you're having to heal by day by day. Because it's just like a lot of things you could go through and some things it might, you, you know, you might be going through something and you're like, am I going to ever get a break? And, you know, um, is this, is things going to get better? Even though you try to keep your positive light on, but sometimes you get mentally drained from trying to be so positive all the time. And then when you're dealing with, you know, being, especially with an empath, we go through so much we go through, through so much. It's not even funny because we're dealing with our stuff on our daily basis and we're trying to heal from things. We're trying to, you know, be a better person, get to our higher selves, you know, take away toxic things, toxic people, trying not to be in toxic situations. And then it's just like when you're healing from things one after another, then something else comes back to take its place. And it's just like, God, dog, am I going to get a break? You know, and it just feels like you need to be on a vacation away from your vacation. 
you know, at times, because it's just like with me, I feel like, I, you know, at times I can be at really good peace. And there's times when things get thrown at me and I can get frustrated for a minute, but then I have to sit back and I'm just like, I'll ask myself this question. Why am I feeling this way? Why is this coming back up? Or, you know, what is it that I can fix about this situation? What positive situation, you know, is coming out of this? What lesson do I need to learn out of these things? You know, I ask myself these things all the time. You know, I might have to calm down in a minute. <laughs> but then, you know, I ask myself these questions all the time. And it's just like going through that, you know, the universe is testing us, you know. And it's just like things are being purged out. Things are getting wiped out. And it's just like, you know, basically that's the same thing, but on many different levels, you know, it's just like the veils are coming off. You know, you're seeing things for what they truly are. And it's like, we are really going head on in this stuff. And it's just like, if you're going through things, I'm so sorry, I, you know, because I know what that feels like. Because it can just feel like you're, you're in your personal hell. You could be going through a kundalini, kundalini attack. You can be going through an ascension mm -hmm. awakening. Or you could be going through both of them at the same time. And then going through all these different things, you tend to, out of tragedy, you tend to learn lessons out of every tragedy you go through. And there's always a story behind everything. And it's just like, dang, you know, my stories would be interesting because I've been through so daggone much. And it's just like I was saying from the other video, you know, dealing with this and having, having to heal from that on a daily basis has been the hardest thing that I could have ever went through. And I would not have wished that on anybody. I, I promise you, I wouldn't. You know, I'm not crying. I feel good when I can actually say what I've been through. And just say that you know, I can look and think about my, my family and just say, you know what, I forgive you. <laughs> I, I really, truly forgive you because it's just like, I cannot allow them to have that power over me. You know, I said, whatever, you know, I said, wish them the best, God bless, whatever, but I, I had to keep my distance from them, you know, because I feel like when things, you have done things like that, it doesn't get stayed, it doesn't get, keep getting swept up under the rug, you know, it keeps piling up. You know, and to get pretty, pretty soon after that, the stuff spills over. We're seeing it every day. You know, when people sweep things under the rug. We've been seeing what happens when people sweep things under the rug. When they try to cover up things, they get exposed. They might not be exposed the next day or the next day or the next day. But it's going to get exposed because they're going to get too comfortable. They get too repetitive with things. And they feel like, oh, if I felt like I get away with this, I can probably get away with this and get away with that. And, you know, and it's just like with us. We're trying to help each other out, you know, and it's a blessing. That's the positive thing about it. That I can see I can see people interacting with other, you know, other payokas or other empaths and sending out positive vibes to one another, even though you don't know each other. And it's like we're banding together in this big army. We are, we truly are. And it's a blessing to see that. They, even regardless on what we're being thrown at from the universe, from God, or wherever it's coming from. Whatever vibes and energy we're going through, it's just to know that we're getting stronger. And it's just making us wipe out and purge out every little negative inkling of dust, speck, whatever we got is left in there. It has to be wiped out. And that's the reason why we're going through all that. And it just feels like, like I said before, many of my videos pass vomit. It's like, it comes up like a belch, and you're just like, wait a minute, where did that come from? Why is this reoccurring again? You know, you have let stuff go, but it could be something that reattached itself from that, that you, you know, that you haven't, you know, let go of. It's just like with me, with my childhood, things that, that you know, my, my family intentionally tried to make sure that the therapist tried to uh, wipe out any thoughts and memories about my dad. Now the things that I start being triggered on certain things that would come out and then the truth starts showing up more and more and more, you know, and I start having memories more of, you know, my dad, where, you know, what dreams that, you know, we contacted each other with and, you know, many different ways that I got the chance to talk to him and really didn't know who I was talking to. 
because we weren't allowed to say, you know, he wasn't allowed to tell me who he was. That's the only way he could talk to me is if he could not tell me who he was. He was just a close friend that worked with Prince. So, I mean, that, that was just a lot of things that I had to heal from, you know. And it's just like, you know, the other day I really thought I was going to lose my mind. I told my close, my close sisters, I said I really felt, felt like I was going to lose my mind after seeing what I saw because it's like you can't unsee that. <laughs> That's just something you can't unsee, especially when you have already tried to put that out of your mind, like try to put so many thousands of things like that's not how I want to remember my father. I want to be able to remember my father as being the best entertainer he could have possibly been. You know, it, his music was his life. You know, everybody that he was able to project his love out to, he has touched people's lives in so many different ways. That's how I want to remember him. That's how I want other people to remember him. And it's just like when we're going through these things, know that uh, hopefully this does not go on for too long. And know that you things will get better for you. And if things are starting to look, you know, clearer for you, just know that they're about to get even more better for you. Because it's just the fact that you've been through so many things and you never gave up. Anytime you can actually go through so much stuff and be knocked down so many times, you can get knocked down like 10 million times. It's just the fact is, when you step up to 10 million and one and know that you don't step back up, that, that makes you a strong person. And just know that you're going to get through this. Know that you will excel. You will become that higher self. You will become that best version version of yourself so i hope you are able to resonate with this video i hope you are able to get something out of this video send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can keep me in your prayers and i will definitely do the same for you send out you know send out you know help people raise their frequency love one another you know pray for one another regardless on what things that might be going on no things will get better for you and i will see you on my next video um like and subscribe. I almost forgot what I was going to say. Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And I will see you on my next video. Stay blessed. Stay prosperous. Peace and be wild.